Joker was. Looking at him doing it was really fun because he was absolutely shit. <laughs> Having worn the heels, I have a lot more respect for women now at this stage. I reckon fair play to you ladies, you're are tramps. Especially if you have a few drinks on your cobblestones, temple bar. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Heather was really good. She's got a great body. Like, I, I actually reckon she could enter, like, a couple of pageants. I definitely wouldn't be doing that normally on holidays. Go on, Johnny! Me those shoes. Ah. Jonathan, I think, was absolutely in his element. I think he was loving it, you know, just pretending not to like it, but I think he was loving it. For me, it was funny. For me, it was hilarious, and I enjoyed it. Probably a little too much. He's loving it. He's wearing smaller boxers than the, than the girls wear. It's amazing. You've definitely done this before, have you? <laughs> so hopefully they liked it. I think they did. I think Alicia... It has been a disaster so far. I like boys, I'd be all over you. <laughs> oh. I'm so, so excited for what's next because it's something I personally love doing more than anything. Alessia shuns Mallorca's beautiful beaches for a trip to the island's historic capital, Palma. Perhaps she'll be taking in the architectural splendor or organizing a scenic bike tour or some afternoon sightseeing. Or maybe it's something as surprising as a shopping centre. Alfonso thought it would be a good idea to go shopping. We had to watch her pick out shoes and stuff. It was a disaster. I'm loving these handbags though. Really cute. Oh my god, love those. Yeah, I really want to try these on. I don't think the boys are liking this, are they? No. The ultimate holiday experience. Hey, let's look at leather shoes that we can't afford to buy. Way. They're being a bit boring though. They should like try some stuff on, have a bit of fun. This is a great idea. In fairness, like I didn't think it was boring, and if they did think it was boring, it was their own fault because they were just sitting there, like not taking part. Do your shopping before you go on holidays, so then when you're on holidays, you can just have fun. What do you think, lad? Check our shoes. <laughs> There's a thin line between looking uh, sexy and being a stripper. <laughs> oh. But then nothing makes a girl look sexier than a hastily decided upon holiday tattoo. Are you ready to get wild? Yeah, I really want to get a tattoo. I'd like to get like a music note, uh, like a really small one, maybe here. Mm -hmm. And then, oh yeah, and then we went to a tattoo parlor, and uh, Al Fresco got a lovely tattoo. Hold on a second. Holy mother of God, what am I doing? Ah! <laughs> there's, there's something classy about a tattoo on someone's neck. So. I love it. It's really cute, isn't it? She's done to regret that so much. You did a great job. I love it. And then the lads got things pierced as well. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm the only one who didn't get that done. So we've two piercings, a tattoo, and you, like, you're such a wimp. Are you going to get something? No. Oh. Are you not? No. Are you over right. I'm just not a loser. So I'm not a 13-year-old girl who, like, bows down to peer pressure. So, what do they think of Alessia's efforts so far? Um, I don't think Alessia did enough to kind of keep us entertained for the day. Shopping is entertaining. You're always interacting with, like, new people. She's organised and stuff, it's awful, but um, she's actually she's fun to be around, you know? Alessia started off slow today, but kind of brought it back with the tattoo parlour. So I'll wait to see what happens tonight, and then I'll have a better idea of how she's going to do. And as Alessia puts on her putty, the others are just hoping she doesn't want to stay at home and pawns around the pool. And they're in luck as Alessia is taking her new holiday chums to the nearby resort of Magaluf, famed for its hedonistic party vibe. Not so noted for its four-star cuisine, but Magaluf is where Alessia is chosen to dine. Where are we going for dinner? To surprise! Tonight I decided to take everyone to an Italian restaurant because obviously I'm Italian and I love to eat, so I've got a big appetite. Could everyone please close their menus, please? I decided that tonight I'm going to order all your food. Oh, really? So we're all going to get really fat together. And I was a little bit cheeky and ordered for them, but it was a bit difficult because um, we had to order some gluten-free for uh, Heather, which was a bit complicated. Uh, can you eat prawn cocktail? No. Okay, well, can I have three prawn cocktails? Yes. And can you get a gluten-free prawn cocktail? I don't eat meat. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, because you can have it without the sauce, but the, oh, okay. the sauce no. is not gluten-free. No. Um, I won't have So I'll have to order something else here. Uh, what's, like, not meat here? Alessia kind of brought up why am I vegan and Colm kind of doesn't understand it. So for an ethical reason, you wouldn't eat a fish? Yeah. 
Why, like? Because it's a living thing, like. Nothing against vegetarians, but what the fuck, like, seriously. Hold on, but some animals, <laughs> some animals eat people, so. But they do it just to survive. We don't need to do it to survive. Animals eat people every day, so I don't understand why you can't eat animals. Like, what's the biggie? I think the country would be really good if I was running against it. Really? What would you do to change the... What do you, wait, the what are you, what are you voting in the next referendum? Hold on. I felt like uh, when I spoke about being president, it wasn't taken seriously. First thing I'd do is I would print more money. But then the value yeah. of money would go down. No, I, really, I really don't care. I'm president, so I decide. I don't know why. It was so funny, like, I think they think I'm a bit of a bimbo. Thankfully, Colm cuts short the party political broadcast. <laughs> what, would be, what would you charge to have sex? To have sex with what? A man, like, free. Free? Are you gay? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. He's really good looking, like, it's just devastated. No hanky-panky with them two. And that's when Colm sneaks in. So, uh, do you have any phobias? Yes. Yeah, I'll let someone else go first. <laughs> Spiders and karaoke. Good news, Jonathan. It's a spider-free night out. Bet you can't guess what the bad news yeah, is. We're going to karaoke! Ah. <laughs> Your I nearly died. My worst fear was coming true. No, I can't do it. I can't. I just can't. Jonathan was really nervous going to the karaoke bar and a part of me inside was absolutely laughing. I was like, yes. After dinner torture, not the best way to win points. I can't do it, I can't. I'm sorry. What was going through my mind was get me out of here. Give Jonathan the microphone. I nearly f***ing died. You're my boy, Johnny. You're my boy. See, Jonathan's conquered that fear of public singing pretty damn nifty. Time to break out the tarantulas. Heather has, like, finally come out of her shell. Like, I don't know where this girl came from. But it seems our strangers in the night aren't really much of a floor filler. So, has Alessia's big booze-driven Mallorcan showcase been a hit with her fake new friends? It's been booze for breakfast, boots for lunch, tattoos for tea time, pasta for dinner time and karaoke to round it all off. But is that a winning holiday menu? First half of the day was too girlo. It was beyond shy. I think Alessia could have planned a better day. The second half, she really brought, brought back brilliant food. I've decided to give Alessia six out of 10 today. Out of 10, I'd have to give Alessia six. I should swear, seven. So that gives Alessia's day a total of 19 out of 30. But what does our second Mallorcan day have in store? So Coming up. Oh, this is fucking brutal. Literally the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I'm afraid to look down. Your hoop's hanging out, is it? Why are you even looking at that? Like, seriously. Why don't you want to taste the crackers? Because it smells like feet. My name is Alessia Macari, and I have been deprived from food. 9 a.m. high above the Mallorcan capital of Pama, four strangers are sharing a holiday villa, each hoping that their idea of the best holiday ever will win over their new buddies and clinch the prize. Each day, one of our four get to hijack the holiday, and today, it's the turn of eco-vegan Heather. She just doesn't know it yet. Is it my day? Okay, that's good. Heather's plans for the day involve high-flying, poop scooping and a raw food feast. If Thomas Cook had to put that in his first holiday brochure, don't reckon he'd still be around today? Yeah, I'm happy that it's my day today because I think it'll be a bit different to everybody else's and I'll be more enthusiastic about what I want to do because I want to show people that there's more, I don't know, more to life <laughs> than just drinking and being vain. That's going to be quite the challenge. Come on. It's off time. I hate you. Breakfast will be ready in a few minutes. Mmm, gluten free cornflakes. Bang on, comedy boy. Psychic as well as semi hilarious. Wow. Good morning. Hey, do you want to take a seat? Oh. Do you eat stuff like this every morning? Um, yeah, I would. Yeah. So I drink soy milk instead of normal milk, so I wanted you to try it with cornflakes. Well, I'm actually so think. scared of trying this. This morning, Heather made us all eat a celiac or something breakfast, so there's no meat or anything. No eggs even, which is just weird. 
So where does this type of milk come from then? If like if you don't it's, like, it's made of soya beans. So it doesn't come from cows, is it? No. Mm. Oh, okay. I kind of think being a vegan is a bit of a pain in the ass. Like. No disrespect towards Heather, but I just think she's a bit selfish. That's right, because it seems Heather's selfishly not taking Alessia to a shopping mall, but to the gorgeous Majorcan medieval capital on a journey to the centre of themselves. Hey guys, what's this? Oh, what is this? Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, Heather, yes, isn't Heather. it? We're yeah. in Spain with kids. Some like a hippie chick showed up and showed us how to stretch or something. You'll find it's called yoga, Colin. Pink musical statues with whale music. Excuse me. Like, I'm not into that tree hugging stuff. Come on, she might be mahogany, but she's not a tree. Sit down, down, that's it. And your body. <laughs> Don't fight me. The moment you fight me, it's harder. And she's like, get rid of your bad vibes. I was like, you need to get a real job that can contribute to society. I had a feeling that Heather could have could be taking us to something like that. <laughs> and now do whatever you want with your hands. I thought it was really good when she made me fly and I did my little princess shake. Be the, be the queen, queen, you know? We call it Spanish <laughs> La Reina. We did a few new positions that I've never done before and it was quite interesting. Bet that's a position a gay man never thought he'd be in on his holidays. <laughs> She's not relaxing. <laughs> Relax, <laughs> man. Ah. 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 I think they enjoyed it because it was something different. Now release your feet. Give me I think your people hand. feel they don't have time to do stuff like that, but you have time for everything else. What about time for giant churches? Think of it like cribs with God. Maybe you might enjoy it more. I decided to come to the cathedral because I thought it was just so beautiful. This is fucking brutal. Then we went to a cathedral, which was probably literally the worst experience of my life. The impression that I'm getting from Colm so far is that he doesn't like anything on this planet. Even when we were walking in there, he was just kind of, why are we going in here? And I think he's being really immature about everything. Why do we have to whisper? It's a sign of respect. I think Alessia and Colm were quite bored. <laughs> they definitely were more vocal about the fact that they didn't enjoy it. Well, the cathedral, where do I start? I like could do with a bit of colour, like a splash of pink or something. I made a comment that the, ca the cathedral could do with a bit of colour. And uh, I don't know, she just kind of just kept snapping. It just needed with all the glass, all the colour in the glass. Yeah, but I'm just saying the walls, like, they're a bit dull, like... I don't know, I think I'm allowed to have an opinion. Yeah, I think just the bricks kind of ruin it. Let's go. Heather, Heather is a nightmare so far. No, she's a nice girl, but I don't know what is she thinking with these things. I hope she's, she has to up her game now for the rest of the day. So they've had healthy brekkie for the body and yoga for the soul. What about some volunteer animal rescue work for their non-existent sense of empathy? Oh, stupid cats. The Why are they everywhere? everywhere? The size of this and it looks like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Heather decided to take me to hell before my time. Is this a home for feral cats? Um, it stinks and there's shit everywhere. Feral cat orphanage. Don't think Alessia will be adopting. There's cats everywhere. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hi, my how are you? Heather. I'm Clara. Hey. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Heather somehow thought it would be a good idea to go to some sort of an animal rescue place. I love animals and I just wanted to bring the lads to somewhere that I feel is like a natural environment and just getting in touch with nature. Closer to nature and further away from winning. A home for bewildered cats is probably not top of animal hater Alessia's holiday to-do list. Don't worry, I, I promise you. It's... That one over there looks a bit That's... evil. Oh, oh. <laughs>